Hello and welcome Capricorn. I'm Adriana. I'm an evolutionary life coach and together you and I are going to go on an intuitive journey through the cards to uncover your spiritual message and focus for the week. So very first energy, very first card is the theme of your week. We have the death card. I love the death card <laughs> for you because this is talking about transformation. There is a new door opening for you, and this can mean something as simple as walking into a new job, or it can be something as complex as undoing a shadow aspect of yourself to be reborn into something else. There is a shifting of energy, a transmutation of energy, an opportunity to heal any old wounds. But the idea is that you rise out of the energy of this card changed in a different place. So this is good. This is really good. Um, this is a, if you are on the spiritual path and you're a spiritual seeker, you want to see a card like this because it means you're leaving behind an old, stepping into a new. All right, so your energy is feeling like the hanged man. And interesting, because this is in sequence, hanged man and then death. So you may be feeling on the verge of this transformation, like it's about to happen, but you're not quite sure how to walk through the door. There's a feeling of suspension, that things are not, you're not having to push forward, you're not moving forward, you're not really doing anything. And this is a good place to be, Capricorn, because when you're in this moment of surrender, it is possible to transform. So let's keep looking at your cards. We have the Seven of Wands, Five of Cups, Other Direction. Okay, so this is what is keeping us. Uh huh. This is what is keeping us from that transformation. So there's a part of you that is holding back. And that's why we're not going completely through death's door. <laughs> and I mean, that is a good thing. So you are struggling. You're trying to get to that place. You're trying to rise above these oppositions, these forces that seem to be against you, that want to tear you down. You're trying to fight against them because you want to get to that place of transformation. You want to get to this place where these don't bother you anymore and where you're a different person that doesn't even need to have that kind of conflict. These also may represent people that oppose your change. So anyone who was used to you being the way you were doesn't want you to grow because they don't want to be uncomfortable. You're fighting them. But here we have there's a vendetta going on capricorn there's some kind of revenge vendetta going on where you feel you've lost something in the past and you're trying to go out to recover it running um either through a uh, an argument or even just the way you're looking at it and you may feel like you're trying to this is also kind of that energy of holding a grudge and, um, and resentment, you may feel like you're seeing the truth about it, but it's not coming from a place of love. It's coming from a place of frustration and lack and um, regret. So you may be feeling like you're fighting other people off, but on the other hand, you're also fighting yourself. And this is what needs to transform because revenge and vendettas and trying to even up the score, it's never going to happen because no amount of evening up the score outside of you can heal what is broken on the inside. So what you're being asked to do Capricorn is actually heal and change your relationship with yourself here. There's a part of you that doesn't want to admit how much you have given up or how much you've lost in these past relationships that haven't worked out. There's a part of you that's mad at yourself for that. And so you, you go out seeking revenge, you know, speaking angrily about them or speaking in a way that puts you in the negative light and them, it was their fault. It was everything they did, but it's because you don't want to acknowledge the deep hurt that has, that is there inside of you. 
But the only way forward for this is to let go of that outside stuff and to say to yourself, okay, yes, I am hurt, but I am hurt and I have the power to heal that. I have the power to heal my own hurt. So the next step here is taking back that desire for outside validation, for outside revenge, for outside anything, taking that back in and saying the only way forward is to reconcile this with myself. And this is a this is a long process going on just quite beyond just a 10 minute reading on YouTube because this is asking you to do a lot of inner reflection. But that moment where you take back the vendetta, where you take back the desire to have revenge and you start to look at your experience through the lens of love, how was hurting myself or how was getting hurt? How does that teach me love? They don't seem to be congruous. They seem to be incongruous, right? They don't seem to be compatible, love and hurt. But hurt is an opportunity to show love. Being wounded is an opportunity to heal. So how can you love yourself more so that you don't have this desire for revenge, that you don't have desire for vendetta? This is really a challenge to your self-love, Capricorn. Okay, one more thing about the death card. On this particular death card, She's got apothecary symbol. She's got a snake back here and she's got some pots. So the transformation is about healing. The transformation is about letting go of part of yourself that that is no longer you. That wounded self is no longer you. This is about being okay with letting that go. And I also want to say that revenge and vendettas is a metaphor spiritually for unfulfillment. It's when we feel unfulfilled on the inside and we're trying to grab it from the outside. That's why that's where it gets into trouble because you're trying to fill from the outside in rather than fill from the inside out. So that's really the key going inside into the cauldron, into the self, fulfilling yourself there and then being able to be reborn out of it. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing your time and energy with me, Capricorn. I do love doing these readings every week. And um, thank you again for being a part of that. And please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And you are more than welcome to check out my website, trueguidancetarot.com. I'm in the process of revamping. It may eventually get renamed. But if you need immediate assistance, there are offerings on there, which you can take advantage of now. So I will look forward to seeing you next time and have an amazing, awesome week.